Good morning everybody, welcome to Get Creative. Now uh, we're going to be making a stepper card today and uh, similar to this one, if you have a look at this, this is not the design we're going to be doing. We've got a poinsettia one but you can see that it's got a recess in there which I've put snow in there. To... It was supposed to be a light covering of snow shaker but it's a, more like a drift on that card. We're going to do the technique to make that card. Now I'm going to give you 5, 10, 15 minutes if you've not already printed them off. I'm going to go through and show you what you can print off whether you're making it live or whether you're making it in the future. So this is your main template. There you go, that's the main template there and you can see where you've got the dotted lines, that's where you score, oh. ready to fold. Excuse me, excuse me. What? Good morning. Oh gosh. He's Good got, morning. He's got multiple cameras. Got multiple cameras to play with. He's got control. Okay, back to you. Yes, back to Daddy. <coughs> right, that's the main design there, and that's to fit an A4 page. Where you've got the straight lines is where you cut, dotted lines where you bend. That's the first one. Then you've got a recess, like a little box that fits behind, and that means you can put your 3D things in there. We're going to do a poinsettia with a little bit of snow. I like dusting the snow and uh, that creates the box at the back. Then we've got a 3D set here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. You've got this. You've got the point main point set here. You've got the cutout one. You've got the bits and pieces. So you can build it up and give it a 3D look. Now you've also got a sheet of... Uh, now these are stitched effects. I don't know if you can see them. Almost looks like they've been embroidered. Uh, gives a nice stitched effect, so it looks a bit fabricy. So you've got some option of some adding some holly leaves if you want to or not. This is a sheet you print off. Use as many or as little as you want. Then you've also those are all printed onto 80 gram, 90 gram paper. You want thin paper. This is printed onto a card. Now this is the same design, poinsettia design, and that's printed. This is a 250, but you could go 350, 300 gram, whatever you want. Now you're also going for making the box that goes behind. I printed this like kind of green onto here. Uh, you only need half of this, so that's fine. Uh, I've also given you a set of sentiments here, so if you wish you can cut some of these out or one of these out and just put Happy Christmas or whatever you fancy. And finally, you can't really see it, <coughs> but you need a sheet of plastic, a sheet of acetate, film anything because that will be the cover if you want to put like glitter or snow inside the box you don't want it coming out so you need something to go across the top so that's what you need to make that's what you need to print off before we start making so i'm going to give you five ten minutes to do that if you want to do it now and then come back and we'll start with the demonstration on how to make the similar to this stepper Take a card. Okay, see you in a few minutes. 